On paper, Jungle Cruise, and I just know that at some point I'm going to mess up and call it Jungle Book, is actually a pretty solid old school movie of the kind that I didn't think they made anymore. You've got a plot which is pretty much a copy paste of the first Pirates of the Caribbean. It stars arguably the biggest actor in the world in Dwayne Johnson. You've also got Emily Blunt, who Hollywood never quite seems to be sure what to do with, but they keep putting her in films. You've got more money than some countries' GDP, and it's apparently based off of a fun ride that I've never been on. I mean, it's a formula that's worked for decades and the production's name-checking all the right films from the time that film historians will one day be calling before Iron Man, BIM for short, and in theory, it doesn't do anything wrong, it's, it's just sort of... there. I mean, the plot's pretty much what you'd expect. Everyone's racing to get the MacGuffin, there's a widget to help you find the MacGuffin. Aren't you gonna need this? Oh, you have a goober. Give it. Whoop, whoop, wait, no, not so fast. He called it an override key. There's always a bypass key, a virus key, a who cares key I can never remember, so I always call it a goober. Give it. The villain looks like he's taking time out of his busy schedule of time people to railway tracks in order to be here, and I just think that films like this ride or die on one thing, and it's not how much CGI you can stuff on screen, it's not the simplistic plot, nor is it the one-dimensional characters who here are functional at best, it's, it's something else. A large part is the chemistry between our two leads, I didn't believe it for a second. I've seen more chemistry when kids have been forced to hug and kiss relatives at family reunions. I mean, they're fine in their respective roles with Blunt as the woman ahead of her time and Johnson as the riverboat captain who seems to speak only in dad jokes, but when you put them together, they don't click. The dialogue doesn't sparkle as it did in those old films. Also, those old school movies had something that we old school types like to call practical effects or how to push models and stop motion. See also Harryhausen, comma, Ray. But here, there's none of that. If it can be CGI, you better believe it's going to be CGI, to the extent that during certain scenes, I was half expecting some cutie prompts to flash up on screen. Now, there was something else that was bugging me, but with a film as generic as this, it's hard to remember anything specifically to be grumbly about. Maybe a quick check of the plot outline from Movie Mecca IMDb will help me. Um, feel free to talk among yourselves. Based on a theme park ride, small riverboat, group of travellers, a jungle filled with dangerous animals and reptiles, with a supernatural element? Wait, what supernatural element? Oh. That's my third monocle this week. I simply must stop being so horrified. Oh yeah, now I remember. One of the three groups trying to get the widget that will help them take over the world. Of course! are a bunch of undead Spanish soldiers who are under a really unclear curse which has somehow given them superpowers but also a really cursed existence where they cannot be outside of the river for some reason. Unfortunately, you could strip them all out of the movie and I don't think anyone would notice. Which is a shame because they each have a unique, cool aesthetic and powers but they don't seem essential to the movie because, to be quite honest, they're not in it for much of the runtime and, and also they seem to be having their own separate movie just slightly to the side of the main plot which is fine but just a bit pointless. Also, this film is just way too clean. I mean, I'm not talking about Blunt permanently looking like she's just walked off a photo shoot rather than being in deepest South America, which she does and leads to yet another crack in the film world I'm trying to immerse myself in, but this film is just so clean and so safe that I was amazed to discover it had a 12A rating when I would have given it a PG. I mean, when you compare it to Pirates of the Caribbean, of which this is almost a beat-for-beat -beat remake but with a few small changes, where each character had some depth, we understood where each of them was coming from and why they might work together in certain circumstances. Here, the baddies team up because they're baddies and the goodies team up because they're goodies, not the actual goodies. That would have been a very different film. At the end of the day, Jungle Cruise of the Caribbean sets out to be an old-fashioned fun family film, and that's exactly what it is. A good fun romp with some characters that don't click together but are fun on their own, some action that needs to be made practical, and some villains that needed a bit of a tweak. So, all in all, if nothing else is on, check this film out. But otherwise, what do you guys think, and what is your favourite sort of old-fashioned adventure romp, and why is it 1999's The Mummy? Comment below, let me know. I'm Daniel, it's been a dunking. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe.